guests came in here with trailers, with gas bottles, with briars, with food, with pots, a whole mobile kitchen and team leaders and uh, different people setting up for curry and rice, spaghetti bolognese and the cottage pies. And then we had um, all the guys coming to do the garden outside, trimming and cutting and cleaning and um, the home cleaning team doing our windows and everything. It was awesome. And as you guys were cleaning away and cooking away and trimming and so on, I just had the sense that God moved in. God came and He was going to provide. Yes, you came with stuff, but He was going to be our provider. Yes, they cleaned our home, but He was going to come and clean up our souls and our stories. And it's just amazing, as they were cutting things, I had the sense that He would come and prune, because He is the gardener. And it would happen in the shade of the night, you know, where things are calm and peaceful. And I think this is what we've seen in our home. God literally moves here. In the values of our home, it's love. And then I have learned from that is when you, you, you learn to love yourself and love others, then you see yourself from God's point of view. And then it's honor and savings, honoring and respecting uh, and respecting each other because of it takes time for us to get into that place where we want to. But then in honoring each other, respecting each other, we lift each other up. And in savings, to say that if a person cannot do it, I can do it. With, with all humanity of heart, Lord, strengthen me to do it and save us and loving and caring each other for each other. Well, love, love comes from God to tell you. No, you can just, as us girls who've been in the street traffic and everything, we'll find men that will tell you, we love you, we love you, but not meaning they love you. So I believe if I should get love, I'll pray for it and God will bring somebody who loves me is he loves me and as my family loves me so i think love is start from your family then it goes out and i love my family too much and and our family loves many people they welcome even different people like other girls and we help them we advise them like like us when they advise us and I taught myself that which means God have a purpose with my life to help people, to help people who are suffering. Help another people, it doesn't mean that you must help the people that you know. We help everyone. I learned to stay with different people and showing each other love and respect. I was so happy, I was so happy to be a big sister in the house, to have younger sisters in the house, the people who show me love, the people who respect me, the people who work together all the time. And I thank God for that. And I see God that is inside of me. And I love him. Uh, a family. It's, um, people will love you, people will care about you, and people will support you. That's we can give people Jesus, but they must meet the Father for His love to give them identity and the Holy Spirit. And I think that's when this thing started in my innermost being of adopting people as daughters, of taking them into my own home, of saying, come live with me, I'll be the mom, I'll be your sister, whatever you need, I will be there. And I realized that it was going to be a bold step because you know what, we want our privacy, we want to eat what we want to eat. We want to wake up when we want to wake up and all those things. And if you take in 12 strangers into your home, you lose all of those rights. But so what? What I gain, beautiful people, seeing the transformation in their lives, hearing it, living it, is priceless.